everybody. Welcome to another video by Liminal Spaces. So today we're talking about The Watchers. This is a new horror film that's out in theaters right now. It came out last Friday, I believe, which I think was June 1st. So I'm going to say June 1st, 2024, I believe was the release date for this film. It's directed by Ashana Knight Shyamalan. I hope I'm saying these names correctly. Please forgive me if I'm not. And her father, M. Knight Shyamalan, produced the film. Their family works together quite a bit. She did a lot of directing work when she was working with her sister, Seleka. Apparently, Seleka is a singing artist, and Ishana made a bunch of music videos for her. And then also, Ishana worked on her father's television show, Servant, where she directed some of the episodes. But this is her film debut, The Watchers. She wrote the screenplay, but it's based on a book by a person named A.M. Shine. I believe the book was received well, but I have seen that, I haven't read the book, but I have seen that there are some plot holes in the book that I think do transfer over to the movie. Some things are explained, some things are not explained, but overall I do want to say that I feel like this was a really well-made good movie. I really enjoyed it. I do think that it's for younger people. I was checking to see if the book itself was for young adults, but I don't think it's billed as a young adult novel. But I really feel like the way the film was handled, it's for young adults. If you're thinking to yourself, I want to go see a scary movie like The Shining, this is not that movie. <laughs> you will not enjoy this movie at all if that's what you're looking for. But... If you have a young person in your life and they're wanting to start watching horror films, you know, maybe for Halloween, you've got your nephew over or whatever and they want to watch a scary movie, this is perfect for that. It's a lot like scary stories that, to tell in the dark. I think it's for younger people and it's really perfect for that. There's a lot of jump scares just to keep the kids interested, I believe. And when I say kids, I should say like 13 or 14. It's not for seven-year-olds, of course. It's got some very dramatic young characters in it. Um, it's got kind of a wholesome message about being able to still do good, even if you've done bad things in your past. You can still be a good person, which I think is a very wholesome kind of point of view for the film to have. It was really, really fun. I do recommend it. I did have a couple small problems with the movie. I wish it was a little more magical. And that's kind of a strange thing to say, I know. But it, it was very realistic and very naturally presented. Just a lot of straightforward forward dialogue about this kind of mystical subject that we're dealing with. And I do wish that we could have seen more magical things occur in this mysterious forest. I also do wish the film was just a little bit more creepy and a little bit less jump scary. There is creep in this movie and it does build but I feel like they could have pushed that just a little bit more. I do feel like the jump scares are important. I do want to say that. I'm not just anti-jump scare. You know, I do hate when movies simply rely on jump scare and don't have any kind of horror building up, you know. But at the same time, I feel like they're both important because you want to keep people in and you want people to be able to build and then release and then build and then release, of course. And jump scares are a good tool that you can use for that. But you can't overdo it, of course. And I feel like this movie might have overdone it just a tiny bit and was lacking just a tiny bit in the, in the horror area. I think it could have built up just a little bit more. But overall, honestly, I really did have a good time. The theater was pretty crowded, which I was very surprised about, considering we went and saw Furiosa, of course, from the week before, and that theater was empty. This theater was pretty crowded, and the audience seemed to enjoy it. So overall, I think this is a really good film. Just be aware that I do believe it's a very 
basic horror movie, probably for younger people. But if you're in the mood for that, this is perfect. It's really well done. I really enjoyed it. I want to talk just for a second about M. Night Shyamalan, of course. He produced the film. And he is, I, I think, honestly, he's a controversial director. Simply because he has made some absolute masterpieces in horror and science fiction. I think mostly of Sixth Sense and Signs, I believe. But he has also made some real duds. <laughs> I mean, some really bad films. And I really like him as a director. But, boy, there, there are some really bad movies that he's made. So I think that's created kind of a controversy for him. But he's coming out with a new film called The Trap, I believe is what it's called. It comes out in August, early August. And there's a lot of hype for that, so hopefully that's a good one. I really enjoyed Knock on the Ca Knock on the Cabin, I think is what it's called. Knock at the Cabin, maybe. That was a, a very enjoyable film. I liked The Visit, the young kids going to visit their grandparents. I enjoyed The Devil in the Elevator movie, <laughs> right? That was very interesting and wild. But some of them, the, the, the last Airbender movie, oh my gosh. I, I think perhaps that's the worst one. I'm not a big fan of Glass. I didn't enjoy The Happening. But, but overall, I really like him as a director. I'm really looking forward to The Trap, and I really did enjoy this as well. I think she did an excellent job, considering that she wrote it and directed it. I think the cast was wonderful, which means she can work with actors. I think she did an excellent job. So I would highly recommend this, especially if you have young people or a family that wants to go see a horror movie. It's really excellent. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more like it, make sure to subscribe. And hit the bell if you're missing some of our videos, because we do make a lot of videos. And have a great day.